The Art of Forgiveness, A Journey to Healing and Empowerment by Life Success. Introduction. In the vast expanse of human emotions, forgiveness is a beacon of hope, a path to inner peace, and a testament to the strength of the human spirit. The journey toward forgiveness is not merely about letting go of grievances. It's about embarking on a transformative quest that leads to healing, growth, and empowerment. This book is your guide through the nuanced landscapes of forgiving and being forgiven, revealing how these acts can liberate your soul and propel you forward in life. Chapter 1. Understanding Forgiveness Imagine standing at the edge of a vast forest, the air fresh with the scent of pine, the ground soft beneath your feet. This forest is unique, it's the embodiment of your journey toward forgiveness. As you step into its embrace, you begin to understand that forgiveness is not just an emotional release, but a profound transformation of heart and mind. Forgiveness is the act of consciously choosing to release feelings of resentment, anger, or vengeance toward someone who has harmed you, regardless of whether they deserve your forgiveness. It's a pivotal moment of reclaiming your power, a deliberate decision to not let the past dictate your future happiness. This chapter dives deep into the heart of forgiveness, unraveling its complexities and revealing its profound impact on our lives. The Multifaceted Nature of Forgiveness At its core, forgiveness is an act of liberation. It frees us from the clutches of bitterness and allows us to move forward with lighter hearts. Yet forgiveness is not synonymous with forgetting, nor does it demand reconciliation. It's possible to forgive someone and still choose to keep distance for your well-being. Understanding this multifaceted nature of forgiveness is crucial. It's about acknowledging the hurt without letting it control you. Consider the story of Eva Kor, a Holocaust survivor who forgave the Nazis for their atrocities. Eva's act of forgiveness was not about absolving their crimes, but about releasing her own soul from the chains of hatred. Her story exemplifies forgiveness as a pathway to personal peace and empowerment. The Benefits of Forgiveness Forgiveness is like sunlight filtering through the trees, touching everything with warmth. The benefits of embracing forgiveness are extensive, positively affecting our mental, emotional, and physical health. Psychologically, forgiveness can alleviate stress, reduce depression, and lower anxiety levels. Emotionally, it opens the door to healing and inner peace. Physically, letting go of long-held grudges can improve heart health and overall well-being. Research underscores the power of forgiveness. A study by the University of Wisconsin found that people who practice forgiveness report fewer health problems and lower mortality rates. These benefits underscore forgiveness not just as a moral choice, but as a healthy one. The process of forgiving. Forgiving is a journey, not a destination. It's a process that unfolds in its own time and pace. This path often involves several stages, including acknowledging the hurt, understanding the perspective of the one who wronged us, and making a conscious decision to let go of grievances. Consider the process of forgiveness as navigating through the forest. There are moments of clarity and patches of shadow, but each step forward lightens the load of anger and resentment. Tools such as reflection, writing letters of forgiveness not necessarily to be sent, and seeking understanding can aid in this journey. Forgiveness and Self-Healing At the heart of forgiveness lies a profound act of self-healing. It's about choosing your well-being over your wounds. This doesn't mean dismissing the pain or pretending it doesn't exist. It means acknowledging the pain while also recognizing that you have the power to not let it define you. An illustrative example is the act of forgiving oneself, which is often the most challenging form of forgiveness. It involves confronting our own mistakes, learning from them, and ultimately, granting ourselves the same compassion we would offer to others. This self-forgiveness paves the way for self-acceptance and growth. Forgiveness is an art, a skill that we cultivate over a lifetime. It's a choice we make again and again in small and significant ways. By understanding and embracing forgiveness, we open ourselves to a life of peace, growth, and freedom. We learn that, though the path may be challenging, the destination a life unburdened by the weight of past hurts is well worth the journey. As we conclude this chapter, let's remember that forgiveness is a gift we give ourselves. It's a powerful act of self-love that allows us to step out of the shadow of our past and into the light of our future. 
Through forgiveness, we find the strength to heal, the courage to grow, and the freedom to move forward with grace and peace. Chapter 2 The Psychological Impact of Holding Grudges Picture yourself carrying a backpack filled with stones, each stone representing a grudge or a piece of unresolved anger you've held onto. With every step, the load gets heavier, making the journey through life more arduous. This imagery illustrates the emotional and psychological burden of holding grudges. In this chapter, we delve into the profound impact that unforgiveness has on our minds, bodies, and spirits, exploring how it can hinder our happiness and well-being. The Emotional Toll of Grudges Holding on to grudges is like locking oneself in a prison of bitterness and resentment. It traps us in a cycle of negative emotions, preventing us from experiencing joy and contentment. The emotional toll is immense, often manifesting as anger, sadness, or a pervasive sense of injustice. These feelings can strain relationships, diminish our capacity for empathy, and even lead to a state of chronic unhappiness. Consider the story of two former best friends turned strangers over a misunderstanding. Instead of addressing the issue, they chose to harbor resentment. Over time, this resentment grew into a deep-seated grudge, poisoning their memories of friendship and leading to a lasting emotional rift. This example underscores the destructive power of grudges on our emotional health and personal relationships. The Psychological Impact The psychological impact of holding grudges goes beyond mere feelings of anger or resentment. It can lead to increased stress, anxiety, and depression, significantly affecting our mental health. The constant replay of the wrongs done to us can become a mental burden, affecting our thought processes, decision-making, and even our sense of self. Research highlights the negative psychological effects of unforgiveness. A study published in the Journal of Behavioral Medicine found that unforgiveness is associated with higher levels of stress and poorer mental health outcomes. This evidence suggests that letting go of grudges could not only improve our emotional state, but also our overall psychological well-being. Physical Health Consequences The impact of holding on to grudges extends beyond our psychological health to our physical well-being. The stress associated with unforgiveness can lead to a host of physical health issues, including hypertension, heart disease, and a weakened immune system. The body's stress response, when constantly activated by unresolved anger and resentment, can wear down our health over time. A compelling illustration of this is the correlation between chronic anger and cardiovascular problems. Studies have shown that individuals who hold on to anger and bitterness are at a higher risk for heart attacks and strokes. This connection between the heart and forgiveness metaphorically and literally underscores the importance of letting go for the sake of our physical health. The Barrier to Personal Growth Holding grudges can stifle our personal growth and development. When we are consumed by resentment, our energy and focus are diverted away from our goals and aspirations. Unforgiveness can keep us stuck in the past, preventing us from moving forward and embracing new opportunities for growth and happiness. Imagine a talented artist who, after a critique gone wrong, holds a grudge against their mentor. This grudge not only strains their relationship, but also hampers the artist's growth. Consumed by bitterness, the artist closes themselves off to constructive feedback, missing out on opportunities to improve and excel in their craft. This scenario illustrates how unforgiveness can be a barrier to achieving our full potential. Letting go of grudges and choosing forgiveness is akin to setting down the heavy backpack filled with stones. It's a liberating act that frees us from the emotional, psychological, and physical burdens of unforgiveness. By releasing the grip of past grievances, we open ourselves to a life of peace, health, and growth. As we conclude this chapter, let's remember that the journey towards forgiveness is not always easy, but it is profoundly rewarding. Forgiveness offers us a way out of the prison of bitterness, a path to healing, and an opportunity to embrace a fuller, more joyful life. The decision to let go and move forward is a powerful step toward reclaiming our happiness and well-being. Chapter 3. The Path to Self-Forgiveness Imagine standing before a mirror, looking into your own eyes, and realizing the person you need forgiveness from the most is staring right back at you. Self-forgiveness can be the most challenging journey of all, 
a deeply personal quest to reconcile with oneself over past mistakes, regrets, and perceived failures. This chapter explores the intricate process of self-forgiveness, offering insights and guidance on how to navigate this path with compassion, understanding, and courage. Acknowledging our mistakes The first step on the path to self-forgiveness is acknowledging our mistakes. This requires us to confront our actions honestly, without excuses or rationalizations. It's about taking responsibility for our part in any harm caused, recognizing the impact of our actions on ourselves and others. This step is not about self-flagellation, but about understanding and acceptance. Consider the story of a business owner who, in a moment of poor judgment, made a decision that led to the company's downfall. The weight of the failure and its consequences on his employees and family was immense. Acknowledging his mistake was the first step toward healing and eventual forgiveness, allowing him to learn from the experience and begin the process of rebuilding. Understanding the roots of our actions. Understanding why we acted as we did is crucial for self-forgiveness. This involves delving into the motivations, emotions, and circumstances that influenced our decisions. By comprehending the roots of our actions, we can develop empathy for ourselves, recognizing that our mistakes do not define us. For example, a person who hurt a friend out of jealousy might discover that the root of their action was a deep-seated insecurity and fear of abandonment. This understanding can be transformative, providing insights into their emotional landscape and offering a foundation for healing and growth, learning and growing from our mistakes. Self-forgiveness is not complete without the commitment to learn and grow from our mistakes. It's about turning regret into a catalyst for personal development, ensuring that our past errors contribute to our future wisdom. This process involves setting new intentions, changing behaviors, and making amends where possible. An illustrative case is that of an individual who, after years of struggling with addiction, caused deep hurt to their family. Through the process of self-forgiveness, they committed to recovery and rebuilding the damaged relationships, demonstrating that mistakes can lead to meaningful change and redemption. Practicing Compassion Toward Ourselves At the heart of self-forgiveness is the practice of self-compassion. This means treating ourselves with the same kindness, care, and understanding that we would offer to a dear friend. Self-compassion allows us to hold our imperfections lightly recognizing that we are more than our worst moments. A powerful exercise in self-compassion involves writing a letter to oneself, expressing understanding, empathy, and encouragement. This act can be a poignant reminder that we all deserve forgiveness, including from ourselves, embracing our humanity. Ultimately, self-forgiveness is about embracing our humanity, acknowledging that making mistakes is a part of being human. It's a recognition that our flaws and failures are integral to our growth and evolution. By forgiving ourselves, we affirm our worth and potential, opening the door to a future where we can live more fully and freely. A compelling example of embracing our humanity comes from the life of Maya Angelou, who overcame a troubled past to become one of the most influential voices of our time. Her journey underscores the power of self-forgiveness in transforming pain into purpose, demonstrating that our past does not have to dictate our future. The journey to self-forgiveness is a path to freedom. It liberates us from the chains of self-condemnation and opens up a world of possibilities for healing, growth, and happiness. As we conclude this chapter, remember that self-forgiveness is a gift you give yourself a declaration that you are worthy of love, compassion, and a brighter tomorrow. Embrace this journey with an open heart, knowing that each step toward forgiving yourself is a step toward a more peaceful and fulfilling life. Let self-forgiveness be your guide to rediscovering your strength, your worth, and your capacity for joy. Chapter 4. Forgiving Others. Letting Go of the Past. Imagine standing on the edge of a serene lake at dawn, holding a handful of pebbles. Each pebble represents a grievance you've held against someone. As you toss them into the water, you watch the ripples fade away until the lake is calm once more. This act symbolizes the essence of forgiving others a deliberate choice to let go of the past and allow peace to return to your heart. In this chapter, we explore the transformative journey of forgiving others, offering insights and guidance to navigate this path with grace and resilience. Understanding Forgiveness 
Forgiveness, when directed towards others, is an act of profound strength. It's important to recognize that forgiving does not mean condoning the wrong or denying the pain it caused. Instead, it's about choosing to release the hold that resentment has on your life, freeing yourself from the cycle of anger and bitterness. Consider the story of Nelson Mandela, who, after 27 years in prison, chose to forgive those who had wronged him. His forgiveness was not a sign of weakness, but a powerful act of liberation that paved the way for healing and reconciliation in a nation divided by apartheid. The Impact of Unforgiveness on Relationships Holding on to anger and resentment can poison our relationships, creating barriers to connection and understanding. Unforgiveness acts as a wall, separating us from others and from the possibility of deeper, more meaningful interactions. It can turn minor disputes into lasting feuds and transform potential allies into perceived enemies. An example of this is seen in familial estrangements, where years of accumulated grievances lead to broken relationships. The story of two siblings who stopped speaking over a misunderstood comment illustrates how unforgiveness can rob us of precious time with our loved ones. Steps Toward Forgiving Others The journey to forgiveness often begins with a conscious decision to let go. This process can involve several steps including 1. Acknowledging the hurt, allowing yourself to feel and acknowledge the pain without minimizing it. 2. Empathizing with the other person, trying to understand the situation from the other person's perspective. 3. Reframing the story, shifting your narrative from that of a victim to a survivor, focusing on your resilience and strength. 4. Choosing to forgive, making an active decision to forgive even if the feelings don't immediately follow. These steps do not necessarily happen in order and may need to be revisited multiple times. Forgiveness is a personal and sometimes non-linear process. Forgiveness as a gift to yourself. Forgiving others is ultimately a gift you give to yourself. It's a release from the burden of carrying negative emotions that can weigh heavily on your heart and mind. By choosing to forgive, you prioritize your own peace and well-being over the desire to hold on to past wrongs. An inspiring example of this is the forgiveness shown by parents who have lost children to violent crimes. By forgiving their child's perpetrator, they often find a sense of peace and closure that allows them to move forward with their lives, honoring their child's memory in a positive way. The Role of Communication in Forgiveness Effective communication can play a critical role in the forgiveness process. Expressing your feelings, setting boundaries, and having open, honest conversations can help clear misunderstandings and facilitate mutual forgiveness. It's about finding common ground and rebuilding trust step by step. A case in point is the reconciliation process between estranged friends who, through open dialogue and a willingness to listen, managed to bridge the gap of hurt and misunderstanding that had separated them. Forgiving others is a journey toward freedom, a freedom from the pain of the past, and a step into a future unburdened by resentment. As we conclude this chapter, remember that forgiveness is a choice, a courageous act of self-love that opens the door to healing and renewed possibilities. Let the act of forgiving others be your declaration of peace, a testament to your strength and capacity for compassion. Embrace this path with an open heart and watch as the ripples of forgiveness touch every aspect of your life, bringing with it the calm and clarity of a heart unburdened by the past. Chapter 5. Rebuilding Trust and Relationships Imagine the process of repairing a delicate piece of pottery, carefully joining each fractured piece back together. While the cracks remain visible, they add to the object's story, making it uniquely beautiful. Similarly, rebuilding trust and mending relationships after a breach involves careful, deliberate effort and can lead to a stronger bond marked by the history of forgiveness and growth. This chapter explores the intricate process of restoring trust and relationships, offering insights and guidance for those on the path to reconciliation. Acknowledging the Damage The first step in rebuilding trust is acknowledging the extent of the damage. This involves open, honest communication about the hurt caused, without excuses or minimization. Both parties must be willing to face the uncomfortable truths of their actions and the impact those actions had on the relationship. 
consider the story of a partnership that nearly dissolved due to a breach of trust. The turning point came when both individuals laid out the full extent of their feelings and disappointments. This difficult conversation was the foundation for healing and rebuilding their connection. Taking Responsibility Central to the process of rebuilding trust is taking full responsibility for one's actions. This means offering a sincere, unqualified apology and demonstrating an understanding of how those actions affected the other person. It's about showing remorse not just in words but through actions, making it clear that you are committed to change. A powerful example of taking responsibility can be seen in the actions of a public figure who faced a scandal. By publicly acknowledging their mistakes, expressing genuine remorse, and taking tangible steps to make amends, they began the slow process of regaining public trust. Creating a plan for rebuilding. Rebuilding trust requires more than just a promise to do better. It necessitates a concrete plan of action. This plan should include clear, achievable steps and behaviors that demonstrate commitment to change. It might involve setting boundaries, undergoing counseling, or finding new ways to communicate effectively. A business that lost consumer trust due to a data breach provides a case study in creating a plan for rebuilding. By implementing stricter data protection measures, transparently communicating their efforts, and consistently following through, the company gradually restored customer confidence. The Role of Patience and Time Trust is rebuilt in the slow accumulation of consistent, trustworthy actions over time. Both parties must be patient with the process and with each other, understanding that trust may not be restored overnight. This period of rebuilding is a testament to the strength of the relationship and the genuine desire to mend it. An illustrative example of patience and time in rebuilding trust is found in the reconciliation efforts between estranged family members. Over months and years of consistent effort, showing up for each other, and small acts of kindness, the foundation of trust was slowly restored. Forgiveness and letting go An essential component of rebuilding trust is the act of forgiveness. Forgiveness does not mean forgetting the hurt or pretending it never happened. Instead, it's about consciously deciding to let go of resentment and give the relationship a chance to grow beyond the past hurt. This step is crucial for both parties to move forward without the shadow of past grievances looming over their relationship. A moving example of forgiveness and letting go is found in the story of two nations embroiled in conflict who chose to pursue peace. Through acts of mutual forgiveness and a commitment to understanding, they paved the way for diplomatic relations and a new chapter in their history. Rebuilding trust and mending relationships is akin to creating a mosaic from broken pieces. Each piece represents a step of forgiveness, understanding, and effort towards rebuilding. The final picture is one of beauty and strength, born out of the willingness to repair and grow together. As we conclude this chapter, let's embrace the possibility of renewal and the potential for our relationships to emerge stronger from the trials of forgiveness and rebuilding. The journey requires patience, commitment, and love, but the destination a relationship enriched by the depth of understanding and trust is well worth the effort. Chapter 6. The Role of Forgiveness in Society Imagine a single act of forgiveness as a pebble dropped into a pond, its ripples spreading far and wide, touching shores beyond sight. This imagery captures the profound impact forgiveness can have not only on individuals but on society as a whole. In this chapter, we delve into the transformative power of forgiveness in healing communities, bridging divides, and fostering a culture of empathy and understanding. We explore how acts of forgiveness can catalyze positive change, promoting peace and cohesion in a world often divided by conflict and misunderstanding. Forgiveness as a Tool for Conflict Resolution in the realm of conflict resolution, forgiveness is a powerful tool that can break cycles of retaliation and violence. It offers a path out of the vendetta mindset, opening doors to dialogue and understanding. By choosing to forgive, individuals and communities can move towards reconciliation and peace, even in the aftermath of deep-seated conflicts. An inspiring example is the Truth and Reconciliation Commission TRC in South Africa which facilitated a process of forgiveness and healing after the atrocities of apartheid. 
Through public hearings where victims and perpetrators shared their stories, the TRC helped pave the way for national healing and reconciliation, demonstrating the potential of forgiveness to heal deep societal wounds. Building Bridges Across Divides Forgiveness can play a crucial role in bridging divides between different groups, whether they are racial, religious, or ideological. By fostering a spirit of empathy and understanding, forgiveness encourages us to see the humanity in those we consider others and to find common ground. The story of the Parents Circle Families Forum, a joint Israeli-Palestinian organization composed of families who have lost loved ones in the conflict, exemplifies this bridging of divides. Members share their stories of loss and forgiveness, working together for peace and reconciliation. Their efforts show how forgiveness can transcend boundaries and create connections even in the most polarized situations. Healing communities through collective forgiveness. Communities that have experienced trauma, whether through natural disasters, acts of terrorism, or systemic injustice, can find healing through collective acts of forgiveness. Such forgiveness does not erase the past, but allows communities to confront it with courage, moving forward without being defined by it. A poignant case of community forgiveness occurred in the wake of the 2015 shooting at Emmanuel African Methodist Episcopal Church in Charleston, South Carolina. The families of the victims publicly forgave the shooter, a powerful act that not only provided personal healing, but also inspired a nationwide reflection on racism, violence, and the power of forgiveness. Promoting a culture of forgiveness. Cultivating a culture of forgiveness within society encourages compassion, tolerance, and resilience. Educational programs that teach children about forgiveness, empathy, and conflict resolution can lay the foundation for a more peaceful future. Media and public narratives that highlight stories of forgiveness and reconciliation can shift societal attitudes towards valuing understanding over vengeance. Implementing restorative justice programs in the criminal justice system, which focus on the rehabilitation of offenders through reconciliation with victims, is another effective way to promote a culture of forgiveness. These programs have been shown to reduce recidivism rates and heal communities, exemplifying the societal benefits of a forgiveness-oriented approach. As we conclude this chapter, we are reminded of the profound impact forgiveness can have on the fabric of society. From healing the wounds of conflict to bridging the deepest divides, forgiveness is a force for good, capable of transforming lives and communities. By embracing forgiveness, we can forge a path towards a more compassionate, understanding, and peaceful world. Let us carry forward the vision of a world where forgiveness ripples through the heart of society, healing past hurts and guiding us towards a future marked by unity and grace. In this vision, forgiveness is not just an individual act, but a collective journey towards building a more forgiving and harmonious world. Conclusion As we reach the closing pages of this journey, a journey that has traversed the depths of human emotion and the heights of spiritual liberation, we pause to reflect on the profound transformation that forgiveness can usher into our lives. It is a journey that began with the first tentative steps towards understanding, and has led us to the expansive horizon of compassion and renewal. Forgiveness, we have discovered, is not a destination but a path one that meanders through the valleys of our deepest wounds and soars over the peaks of our highest hopes. It challenges us to confront our pain, to embrace our vulnerabilities, and to release the weight of our past grievances. This journey teaches us that forgiveness is the most profound expression of love we can offer to ourselves and to the world. The story shared within these pages, the insights gleaned from the wisdom of those who have walked this path before us, and the strategies outlined to guide our way, all converge to illuminate the truth that forgiveness is an essential component of our humanity. It is the bridge that connects isolated souls, the balm that heals old scars, and the force that transforms bitterness into a wellspring of peace. As you close this book, remember that the act of forgiveness is an act of profound courage. It demands that we let go of our narratives of victimhood and step into a story of empowerment. It requires us to look beyond the hurt to see the potential for growth and to choose love in the face of pain. Forgiveness is the ultimate act of freedom, a declaration that we are not defined by our past, but by the capacity of our hearts to heal, to love, and to begin anew. 
let this book be a testament to the power of forgiveness, a companion on your voyage toward finding peace and empowerment within. As you move forward, carry with you the lessons of forgiveness, the strength of your own resilient spirit, and the knowledge that, in every moment of forgiveness, we touch the essence of our shared humanity. In the end, forgiveness is the legacy we leave behind, a beacon of hope for future generations. It is the most profound gift we can give to ourselves and to a world in desperate need of healing. May we all find the grace to forgive and be forgiven, for in this sacred act, we discover the true meaning of liberation and love.